Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Teens and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss factoring polynomials. It is the process of breaking a polynomial into a product of two or more polynomials. Next topic, factoring polynomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Factoring polynomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is equal to 1. For example, number 1, factor x squared minus 3x plus 2 completely. So let's have a table. In the first column, we have the factors. So we're going to determine the factors of the constant term. The constant term here is 2. So what are the factors of 2? We have 1 and 2. And we have also negative 1 and negative 2. Next step is we're going to determine the sum of the factors. The sum of 1 and 2 is 3. And the sum of negative 1 and negative 2 is negative 3. Next is we're going to determine the product of the factors. So the product of 1 and 2 is 2. And the product of negative 1 and negative 2 is positive 2. So, let's go back in the given polynomial. So, here, the constant term, so it will represent the product of the factors. While the second term will represent the sum of the factors. So, negative 3, so we have here, and then positive 2. So, therefore, we will consider now negative 1 and negative 2. For the factors of the constant term. And then next is we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to x minus 1. So where did we get x minus 1? So here, the, uh, the first factor is negative 1. So we have x minus 1. So therefore, the second factor will be x minus 2. So the factors of x squared minus 3x plus 2 is the quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of x minus 2. For example, number 2, factor x squared plus 2x minus 15 completely. So we have the table. And the constant term here is negative 15. So meaning... The, the sign of the factors is positive and negative. So, factors of 15, we have 3 and negative 5. Or, it can be negative 3 and 5. So, let's look at or let us solve for the sum of the factors. 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. And negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. How about the product? So, we have 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. So, let us look at again the given polynomial. The constant term is negative 15. So, this will be the constant term. And then, the middle term or the second term, the coefficient is positive 2. So, let us look at now the sum. The first sum is negative 2 and then the second sum is positive 2. So, therefore, we will consider now these factors, negative 3 and positive 5 as the factors of negative 15. And then next is, we have x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to, the first factor is x minus 3 and then the second factor will be x plus 5. So, therefore, x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to the quantity of x minus 3 times the quantity of x plus 5. For example, number 3, factor x squared minus 4x plus 12 completely. The constant term is negative 12. So, the factors of negative 12 or the factors of 12 are 2 and 6. 3 and 4, 1 and 12. So, since the sign of the constant term is negative, meaning one of the factor is positive and the other factor is negative, and then to get the sum, so we're going to get the difference of the two factors. So, 6 minus 2 is 4, 
4 minus 3 is 1 and 12 minus 1 is 11. The middle term is 4. So we will consider 2 and 6 as the factors of 12. Next is we have now the table. So for the factors of negative 12, it can be 2 and negative 6 or it can be negative 2 and 6. Next is we're going to determine the sum of 2 and negative 6. So it is negative 4. And the sum of negative 2 and 6 is positive 4. And for the product, product of 2 and negative 6 is negative 12. And the product of negative 2 and 6 is negative 12. So, this will be the constant term, which is negative 12. And then the middle term, or the coefficient of the second term is negative 4. So, this is the sum, negative 4. Therefore, we will consider now 2 and negative 6 as the factors of negative 12. And then we have x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to the first factor is x plus 2. This factor. And then the other factor is x minus 6. So therefore, x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x minus 6. Factoring polynomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c where a is greater than 1. Let's have example number 4. Factor 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 completely. So we have now the table. So here we have the coefficients of the leading term and the constant term. So for the leading term, the coefficient is 2. This is the leading term and then the coefficient is 2. And then for the constant term, it is negative 2. Next is we're going to determine the factors of the leading coefficient, which is 2. So the factors are 2 and 1. And then for negative 2, the factors are 1 and negative 2. Next is we're going to determine the factors of 2 and negative 2. So we're going to multiply diagonally. So we have 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4. Next is we're going to get the product of 1 and 1. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So after finding the product, is we're going to determine the sum. The sum of the product. So the sum of 1 and negative 4 or 1 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 3. So if you're going to look at the second term, it is negative 3. So the sum is negative 3. Therefore, the factors that we use here are correct. And then for the first factor, so we have 2x plus 1. So this is, uh, we have 2x plus 1. And then for the other factor, we have x minus 2. So this will be for the coefficient of x. And this will be the constant term. Okay? So 2x plus 1 and then x minus 2. So we have now 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal to 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. So therefore, 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal to the quantity of 2x plus 1 times the quantity of x minus 2. For example, number 5, factor 6x squared plus 10x plus 4 completely. So the coefficient of the leading term is 6 and the constant term is 4. So the factors of 6 are 3 and 2 and the factors of 4 is 2 and 2. Next, we're going to get the product of 3 and 2. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6 and then 
product of 2 and 2 or 2 times 2 is equal to 4. After that, we're going to get the sum of the product. So, 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. So, as you can see, the coefficient of the middle term or the second term is 10. So, the sum is 10. Therefore, the factors that we use to represent 6 and 4 are correct. Next is we're going to get the factors. So, we have 3, 2. Therefore, one of the factors is 3x plus 2. And then the other factor, we have 2x plus 2. So we have now 6x squared plus 10x plus 2 is equal to the quantity of 3x plus 2 times the quantity of 2x plus 2. For example, number 6, factor 3x squared minus 2x minus 8 completely. So, the coefficient of the leading term is 3 and the constant term is negative 8. Next is we're going to determine now the factors of 3. So, we have 3 and 1. Factors of negative 8 is 4 and negative 2. After finding the factors of the coefficient is we're going to determine the product of 3 and negative 2. So, the product of 3 and negative 2 is negative 6. Next, product of 4 and 1 is 4. So, 4 times 1 is equal to 4. After finding the product of the factors, so we have, we're going to get the sum of the product. So, 4 plus negative 6 is negative 2. The sum is negative 2. And the coefficient of the second term is negative 2. So, therefore, the first factor is 3x plus 4. And the other factor, we have x minus 2. So, we can say now 3x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to the quantity of 3x plus 4 times the quantity of x minus 2. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.